Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's 2-Minute Tech. Today we're going to take a look at Sophos XG Firewall Guest Wireless Configuration. We'll look at the necessary screens required to minimally create a guest wireless LAN with hotspot restriction. We'll first define the interface and zone parameters for the wireless LAN interface. Then we'll configure wireless parameters. So let's get started. We're going to first configure a wireless network. Let's go add a network. And the name is a descriptive reference. This will serve as a defined interface name of our wireless LAN network interface and will be used in the rest of the configurations. So give it something meaningful. You need to put an SSID here. An SSID can be up to 32 ASCII printable characters that don't have commas or leading trailing spaces, and it is case sensitive. Then the next thing we'll do is we'll select our security mode. So we'll select WPA2, WPA personal, and then we'll have to add our passphrase. Our passphrase can consist of 8 to 63 ASCII printable characters. For a list of printable characters, see Wikipedia. Next thing we're going to do is add our IP address. And this will be the IP interface for this network. Then we'll go down to advanced settings here. And we're going to change our encryption. And we're going to go to AES Secure. That's because our Sophos APs and our equipment do support AES. And we'll leave the frequency band at both 2.4 and 5. However, you can select one or the other as an option. You can also make it a time-based access and um, configure for client isolation. But we're going to select the defaults for now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to configure DHCP. And we're going to add a new DHCP server. Now, our DHCP functionality um, <clears throat> can be IPv4 or IPv6. So we can figure one or the other or both if you'd like. So the first thing we'll do is descriptive name here. The interface will be the wireless LAN network interface that we created earlier. Then we're going to put in our start and stop or our IP address range for the DHCP addresses. Use, use a mask according to the IP address you've selected. And then we're going to use the interface IP as the gateway. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to configure DNS server. And we're going to put in a couple of external DNS servers. This is for internet access. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our access points to the network. So let's do that. So with the Sophos access points, after you plug them in for the first time on the network, they'll, get, they'll be discovered and they'll show up here as pending, which means we'll need to accept them. Once we accept them, we have the option to configure them. The only necessary configuration for us is to put in the wireless network here. And again, this wireless network is the wireless LAN network interface that we created earlier. Then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to create the hotspot. So the hotspot is going is assigned to an existing wireless LAN network interface. All the wireless clients using this interface will be restricted by the hotspot. Therefore, the role of the hotspot is to authenticate Internet access. And we're going to use a password of the day hotspot type to authenticate our guest users. So we're going to add. And uh, the name, again, name is descriptive up here at the top. And the interface, again, is going to be the wireless LAN network interface that you created earlier. The hotspot type is going to be password of the day. This is the easiest hotspot type to configure because the only requirements are to configure what time the password gets created by the firewall and who gets that password. So you'll, let, you'll add your user's email addresses here that you want to deliver that password to. 
And then it's up to them how they deliver that password over to the guest. The other thing that we'll want to configure in here is the redirect to URL at the login. You could send them to your home page or, or not. It's up to you what you want to do there. So essentially, that's our required configuration. What happens now? Well, the guest user will select an SSID and public password to authenticate to the guest wireless LAN network. At that point, they will receive a hotspot pop-up panel where they will enter the password of the day, which has been provided to them. After successful authentication to the hotspot, then they will be redirect redirected to the pre-configured URL you configured. Now, with the SFOS firmware allowing guest access to your internet bandwidth means you can also apply policy to their traffic to protect them from malware while surfing and protect your organization from, say, excessive bandwidth consumption, unintentional compromise of your data systems, and allowing unfiltered access to the internet. Now you can rest assured that their data traffic is isolated from the production network traffic and your security posture is not being compromised on either side of the fence. And that is how you configure guest wireless services on the Sophos next generation firewall. Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. If you need additional product information, configuration, or implementation services, please contact us at help at productivecorp.com, 800-726-4099. We are here to help.